Today I'm going to show you how to make delicious, fancy grilled cheese sandwiches and homemade tomato soup. <laughs> That's pretty good stuff. Alright, let's go over the ingredients just for the tomato soup. You're going to need roughly about 3 pounds. This is about 10 to 12 Roma tomatoes. You're going to need one large white onion, about 6 to 8 garlic cloves, the whole cloves, and a quarter cup of olive oil. You're also going to need 3 cups of chicken broth or vegetable broth, one 6 ounce can of tomato paste, 2 tablespoons of brown sugar, two teaspoons of pepper and a half teaspoon of salt. First, you're going to want to get a pot of boiling water going on your stove and you're also going to want to turn your oven to 450 degrees. So we're going to start by taking our tomatoes and blanching them. Blanching them really quick in hot water just so that we can peel the skins off. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. All right, so from here I have a pot of boiling water and I also have a plate behind me to put my um, tomatoes on when they're done. I also have a pair of tongs so that I can pull them out without obviously burning my hands. So you're gonna take your tomatoes and you're going to place in as many as you can get into your pot. I can probably get three or four in here. All right, maybe five, okay? and you're going to leave them in there for just a few minutes. This is gonna boil and it's gonna cause the peel to separate away from the tomato. This is gonna be perfect because it's gonna make our peeling life a whole lot easier. If you can start to see this one right here, see how the skin has already kind of like popped and pulled away from the tomato. That's what you're gonna get and it's really nice. Look, that one just did it too. So perfect. Okay, so we're gonna take these out and set them on our plate back here. It does not take very long at all, maybe a minute. All right, so go ahead and just do that with the rest of your tomatoes until they are all done. And then we'll go back over to our station and finish up this recipe. Now that all of those are done, you're going to want to let them cool down just a little bit because you don't want to touch them when they're boiling hot. So once they've cooled down, then go ahead and just peel the paper skin off super easy and then place it on your pan we will be cutting them but we're just going to do that in a second so you're just going to take all of these the skin should come off super easy just peel it and set the tomato on your pot pan all right i'm going to go wash my hands so now you're just going to cut them in half and we're just going to spread them out all over our pan So I've taken my cookie sheet and I've just lined it with some parchment paper. I don't use foil. Um, foil can actually be pretty toxic. <laughs> Anyways, I use parchment paper. Now I'm just gonna spread them all out, all over the place. Then you're going to take your onion that you already cut into quarters and just put it all over. If one onion wasn't big enough, go ahead and do two, but this one that we had it was really big. And then six to eight or more, if you really like garlic flavor like we do, you can add a little bit more. You're just gonna take these and just drop them in random spots all over your tray. Then you're gonna take your olive oil and you're going to pour it, drizzle it on your tomatoes, onion, and garlic here. And I just kind of do this with my hands just to get the olive oil all over the place. Just kind of like rubbing it on all of the ingredients here. And then I wash my hands again. <laughs> and hopefully your oven has gone off and we're gonna put these in our oven at 450 for 30 minutes. All right, that is all done roasting. We are gonna add all of this, including the juices on this parchment paper to our Dutch oven, or if you have a large stock pot, that works too. So we're gonna add everything over here. We're gonna take over our stock, our spices and our paste, and we'll add all of that into our stock pot or your Dutch oven. All right, so I'm going to grab my stock 
And I'm going to turn my Dutch oven onto a medium high heat. And we're going to add in our stock. I'm going to add in our tomato paste, our salt and pepper, and our brown sugar. And I'm just going to grab my whisk and I'm just going to mix this part up really quick before I add in all of our tomatoes, onion, and garlic. All right, so for this next part, just be careful hanging on to your tray and just slowly adding everything into your pot. All right, and then I do take my tray and I add in all the juices off of this parchment paper. I'll even take a spatula and scrape down all the olive oil and garlic juices and just so I can get all those good drippings into this. From here, I'm gonna take my lid and just put it on top and I'm gonna let this simmer for about five minutes. All right, for this part, you're going to need an immersion blender. And I go ahead and turn my stove off at this point just because I don't want anything else snapping back at me while I'm doing this. So I turn it off. And sometimes I'll even remove it from the heat, but we're, I'm just gonna show you here. We're gonna take our immersion blender and we're just gonna blend this all up. Now, if you don't have an immersion blender, you can use like any sort of blender or Vitamix or things like that that you could have, but you do have to be really careful transferring this. So I'm gonna take my immersion blender and very carefully blend this all up. All right, once that is all done, you are welcome just to leave it at this point. Um, you can taste it and see if it's got enough salt or pepper or things like that that you might want. If you feel like it's too thick, you can add in some water. If you would like it creamier, you can add in um, four or more tablespoons of heavy cream and that's gonna give you that creamy tomato. Um, we like it just like this. We think it has enough flavor but you're welcome to add those little things in to make it yours. All right, so you can leave your soup on a low simmer on your back burner while we do this next part. Um, all of these ingredients are optional, less or more, depending on how you like your sandwich. This was inspired by one, another one of Pioneer Woman's recipes and we just kind of picked out the ingredients or things that we like to do with it. So I'll go over everything that we're gonna use for our family, but you can adjust it for yours. So you're gonna need a loaf of bread we use two eight ounce blocks of shredded cheese. This is gonna help hold everything together by shredding it and also help it melt quickly. We have um, pickled red onions. If you don't, I usually have a jar of these in my fridge, but if you don't have them pickled, you can just cut up a red onion, use a half cup of distilled vinegar and two cups of water and just let it sit while you're doing everything else. And then we use two jalapenos, you're going to take a half cup mayonnaise and two tablespoons of Dijon mustard and just mix that up really well. And then obviously some softened butter. So I'm gonna show you how we put this together and then you can do it however you want to or try it this way. It's actually really good. We call it fancy grilled cheese. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna take two slices of bread. I'm gonna spread them out like this and I'm first going to take my mayonnaise and mustard mix. I'm gonna put just a little bit on each side and then use either a different knife or the back of my spoon here and just spread it out. And then I'm gonna take my jalapenos and put them on one side and take my onions and put them on the other side. We have also added tomato to this, but because we're having tomato soup, I felt it was redundant. Then you're gonna take your cheese and I just grab a little bit of both. If you're just using one, that's fine. And I'm gonna sprinkle it on one side, get a nice good amount there. 
and then we're gonna flip the other onto its side. Now, this is kind of the tricky part. So I'm gonna butter this side. And hopefully your butter is a little softer than mine. If not, I just do this. <laughs> and I just add little slivers all over. All right, now I'm gonna take this to my pan and I'm gonna flip this side down. And while I'm over at my pan, I'm gonna add the butter on the other side while it's cooking. Okay? Okay. My pan is nice and warm. I'm gonna take this and just flip it down, butter side down. And then we're gonna add our butter to this side. This is also really soft bread that I chose, which is why I'm buttering it like this. From here, I usually grab a pot lid and I just place it on top to kind of help steam it a little bit more. You don't have to do this. Just if you're noticing that the cheese isn't melting um, fast enough, this does help kind of isolate that heat a little bit. So that does help too. All right, and that is done on both sides. We're just gonna take that. Look at that, we just made some yummy homemade tomato soup and some fancy grilled cheese sandwiches. Enjoy your dinner tonight. I'll see you in the next one.